Bowling Show. Everything you want to know about the last true untainted sport in America, professional bowling. Now our host, P.B. Atkinson. Hello, bowling fans, and welcome to The Bowling Show. I'm P.B. Atkinson. This week's episode was originally scheduled for Friday, but the bowling show writer and producer, Jason Thomas, was asked to be a bowling consultant on the hit TV show CSI. Well, Lottie freaking da The good news on that, which may even redeem the fact that our producer is shirking his responsibilities to rub elbows with Hollywood bigwigs, is that this week's episode will be dedicated to giving you the inside scoop on the hit TV show's upcoming foray into the world of professional bowling, which is scheduled to air on CBS November 19th. CSI is one of television's most popular shows and is watched by an average of more than 20 million viewers each week. It has spawned two spin-offs, CSI New York and CSI Miami, and is also currently in syndication on the Spike Network and TV Land. So pretty much if you haven't seen the show yet, then it is likely that you are one of those weirdos who drives a Prius and does not own a television set, or you are Osama Bin Laden's roommate. So the synopsis for the upcoming bowling-centric episode is that it takes place during a professional bowling event, which abruptly comes to a halt at a key moment in the match when a grisly murder is discovered. During the episode, the CSI team attempts to solve the mystery of who committed the murder. Of course, all bowling fans will want to find out is how many pins the guy who was interrupted in the episode's opening scene needs to win the match. Popular actor Lawrence Fishburne, who plays Dr. Raymond Langston on the hit series, was not involved in any of the scenes shot inside the bowling center. Apparently, the one scene in which he was involved had to be cut at the last minute. The reason? Producers felt that his line in which he said to another character, you throw the blue bowling ball, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You throw the red bowling ball, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes, was a little too matrixy. During the episode, one of the show's series regulars will be revealed as a closet bowler. The character spends nearly the entire episode hiding the reason for why he knows so much about bowling, and then reveals he was once a state high school bowling champion. In a related story, two TMZ reporters were seriously injured after slamming into one another in their haste to get the scoop on what they mistakenly thought might be the biggest TV personality coming out party since TR Knight. When they awoke in the hospital and discovered the truth, the two made a pact to just go back to stalking John Goslin. And our last story for this special CSI edition of The Bowling Show is that new upscale bowling lounge 300 in Pasadena, California was chosen as the location for the show's bowling scenes and was made to look like one of the large casinos and bowling centers in Las Vegas. Unfortunately for the real pro bowlers who stood in for the actors to help throw strikes on camera, the lanes were not oiled for any of the bowling scenes in order to accommodate the need for the crew to freely walk on the lane surfaces without slipping. Apparently, a future episode that centers on golfers will be filmed on a course that doesn't have any grass. And that's all the time we have for our show. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm P.B. Atkinson, reminding you to be sure to watch this special bowling episode of CSI November 19th. Jason Thomas will also be blogging on his experience that week as a reminder. And to join us again Friday for another new episode of The Bowling Show.